In this file I have one sheet where I have summary of all other sheets. Now I would like to add their hyperlink that will take me directly to the cell where the biggest order is for specific month and specific supplier. So let's say I would like to see order from Nestlé in June. So I have June, Nestlé and then click on hyperlink and it will take me directly to that cell. So let's say I would like to see biggest order in January from Walmart and it will take me to sheet January and row 10 where the biggest order is from Walmart. So let me show you how to do it. So first we need to add here drop down list so we can select month. So I go to data, data validation, choose list and select all those months. Now I am able to select month and I will add drop down list also for suppliers. Okay, so I'm able to select also supplier. And now what I need to find out is what is the maximum order for Walmart. So for that I will use max ifs function. I will be always looking in column D. My criteria range will be column C. And criteria I have in cell B10, which is supplier name. Now if I close the bracket, 11,179.5 is the biggest order, so it's this one, it's in row 10. So if I want to get row number, I will use match function, add lookup array, which is again column D, and I want exact match, so I will add zero here. Now it will tell me that it's in row 10. So if I want to create a hyperlink, I will use hyperlink function. So for link location, I will add hashtag into apostrophes. And then let's say I want it to take me to column C. So now instead of this 10, I will be using match function because I, it calculated that it's in row 10. So I will add end here and add January into apostrophes. Now if I will close the bracket, it will create hyperlink to January and cell C10. If I will change it, let's say to Coca-Cola, it will change automatically to the right cell. Now it's always considering January, so if I will change something here in my first drop down, it will not work. So now I need to replace this January with value that I have in cell B9. So here I just simply write B9, add end and put apostrophes. So now it's changed to March for hyperlink, but it did not do the same thing for max ifs function. So here I will add indirect function. I will be considering B9. And it will stay in column D. So I will add D in apostrophes and close the bracket for indirect function. I will do the same here, so indirect of B9. I will delete this January, add end and apostrophes, add apostrophes at the end and close the bracket for indirect. And also same here, so indirect function so B9 and I will be 
looking in cone D, so put it into apostrophes and close the bracket. Now my formula is considering what I choose here in my drop down. And one more thing I can do here is name my hyperlink, so let's say link to biggest order. Now I can select whatever I want, so let's say February for Procter & Gamble. So I go to February, choose Procter & Gamble and click on the link and it will take me directly to biggest order that was from Procter & Gamble in February. And that's it, hope you like it.